just... I know. Exactly why we'll do one last thing. Okay. Lost me. Realize the shit they've been through to get this far. Sure do. To let it all go now. Why? Cleanest. Least bloody option. If we try anything else, people will die. People die. It's the way of things. Am I worth their sacrifice? Or you? Besides, it's the only way we'll both be aware. Of what? Death? Mm -hmm. The moment life escapes. Hmm. Never really gave it a thought. Funny how you still manage to surprise me sometimes. Might be something I learned from you. V. You sure about this? As long as you got nothing against it. Not how I'd have done it. But that's all right. Just like that. No pushback. Huh. Might have learned a little something from you, too. Is it time? You know... It really is beautiful. Been nice working with you, V. Yeah. With you too, Johnny. Reprehensible place. I hate it. It could drive one insane. What do you want? They asked me to speak to you. So Saburo Arasaka's return. In Yorinobu's body. We live in strange times. Not freaked? That doesn't faze you? Half my life I worked to give Saburo Arasaka immortality. In so doing, I grew accustomed to the thought of his... Uh, ...resurrection. It's not just his immortality. Saburo stole his own son's body. Saburo is the first human to ever reach for and achieve a divine state. The gods stand above good and evil. No. Alt Cunningham was first. A surprising comparison, yet accurate on many counts. Fine. So what do you have to tell me? I fear I'm the bearer of bad news. Listen to me. The procedure was a success. We removed the biochip. But the damage it wrought proved enormous. At the genetic level, altered DNA. The kind you would find in those suffering from radiation sickness. And sadly, it's lethal. So you're telling me I'm gonna die? All the options have yet to be exhausted. What other options are there? I've already gone under the knife once. Arasaka Corporation has the capability to cheat death. All we require from you is a dose of trust. Trusted you once already. Fat lot of good that did me. You may join our pilot program. Secure your soul. I fear your body is no longer of any use. 
you must abandon it. We will create an engram of your mind and store it in Mikoshi. Store it? Why can't I just get a new body? We have yet to solve the compatibility issue. Doesn't sound like you had much of a problem with Saburo Arasaka. You have no offspring. Nor do you have an entire clinic focused solely on your care. So let's say I agree. I'll land in Arasaka's soul prison. Put myself at their mercy. Do I even need to ask about the catch? All is set forth in a contract, guaranteed therein. You must merely sign it. If you wish to live, that is. Now, since a digitized psyche is not legally an individual, the contract entails relinquishing your rights. A temporary measure, naturally. No. Not about to become the property of our Osaka Corp. Current participants of the program are all well-known, influential people. We have yet to receive any complaints. And if I refuse? Your belongings are packed. A shuttle will take you back to Earth, and you will be dead before winter. It's no easy decision, I know. You should think it through carefully. I want to live. As do most. There's no point in delaying. We can begin immediately. See you... in the future, I hope. Yes. See you. Our staff will take it from here. Hey, what's your name? Hajime. Hajime. Let me ask you something. What would you say to a person who walked right into their greatest foe's jail to save their life? Hmm. I would say... All right. But do not forget the way home. Made my decision. I'm going back to Earth. Going home. You will die there. Goodbye, Anders. Your offer was shit. But in making it, you gave me something better. What are you talking about? Before, death was inevitable. A fact of my shit life. You let me choose it. Accept it on my terms.
fade away I see your eyes and know you see me You're like a ghost how you How's the Earth looking from way up there? Is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for Earth gravity. Could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is, don't ignore any error warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. You're up to your knees, you're never getting out. Like, like Evelyn. Anyway, look out for yourself, okay? Call me sometime. Bye. It's Pan Am. Remember me? The one with the car? Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? I'm not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. If you've got something, or you know someone who does, give me a call, okay? I really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. <laughs> 